All right, in this example, uh, we're given a couple of uh, sets of real numbers uh, that are graphed on um, real number lines, and uh, we simply want to um, uh, write these sets uh, using interval notation. Uh, so this example really uh, demonstrates the usefulness of interval notation uh, because it can be uh, clumsy and time-consuming uh, to try to graph um, a set of real numbers on a real number line, although that is a useful way of uh, indicating a set of um, uh, real numbers is uh, drawing a graph of it. Uh, but making the graph itself can be uh, clumsy and time consuming. And interval notation uh, gives you just a nice shorthand um, uh, substitute for um, indicating a set of real numbers or writing it down a set of real numbers that's almost as powerful as um, um, uh, graphing the set uh, on a real number line, uh, but not nearly, uh, doesn't take nearly as much time, or is not nearly as clumsy as um, uh, graphing the set on um, the real number line. Okay, so here we see um, uh, this set of numbers. Uh, this set um, that's graphed here has two boundary values. Uh, the set begins at um, negative four and uh, extends to uh, positive 10 uh, and includes all numbers between minus four and positive 10. So uh, we can write this set down uh, very quickly in uh, using interval notation uh, because again um, what interval notation um, is uh, useful for is um, indicating exactly this sort of set, the set that includes uh, all numbers between, um, uh, all real numbers between two given boundary values. So the two given boundary values here are minus 4 and 10 and this set includes all numbers between uh, minus 4 and 10. So with interval notation, all you're simply going to do is uh, write down the two boundary values. And then you simply need to indicate in the interval notation if the boundary values themselves are part of the set. Well, we see in our graph here that um, uh, we have a minus 4 graph, uh, sorry, a closed dot graphed at minus 4. And we also have a closed dot here graphed at uh, positive 10. So that means that the boundary values for this set uh, are going to be included in the set. Uh, that's what the graph shows us. Uh, so to indicate that in interval notation, you'll use a square bracket beside the minus 4. That tells us that minus 4, that boundary value, is included in the set. And then uh, you'll also use a square bracket here beside the 10, um, uh, because that uh, boundary value also is included in the set. So here's the same set, uh, the set of all real numbers between minus 4 and 10, including minus 4 and 10. Uh, that is graphed uh, on this number line uh, written out in interval notation. And you can see it's very efficient uh, to write that set in interval notation. Uh, it's not nearly uh, as difficult to write that set in interval notation uh, as it is to uh, uh, graph that set uh, on a number line. All right, in the second example, um, we have um, uh, the set of numbers uh, beginning here at minus 4 and then extending out apparently to positive infinity uh, because the set is not terminated on the right hand side with an open uh, or a closed dot. So um, essentially this set of numbers is the set of numbers uh, greater than uh, minus 4. It includes all numbers bigger than minus 4 or all real numbers bigger than minus 4 extending all the way out to uh, positive infinity. So how would we write that this set in interval notation? Well, the two boundary values we're going to use, uh, the uh, smaller boundary value, the boundary value on the left, obviously here is a minus 4. Um, since we don't have a boundary value on the um, right-hand side, this set extends all the way out to positive infinity. Uh, as a boundary value, we're going to use our uh, notation for positive infinity, which is this uh, sideways 8. Remember, that's the symbol that we use to indicate positive infinity. And um, so those are the boundary values that we'll use in interval notation for writing down uh, this set. Now the only thing we have to, to uh, remaining thing we have to include in our interval notation is uh, uh, whether or not uh, the boundary values themselves are included in this set. Well since we have an open circle here graphed at uh, minus 4 that means minus 4 is not included in the set. It's a boundary value for the set so the set extends all the way to minus 4 but doesn't include minus 4. And of course uh, Positive infinity is not even a real number. Um, it's just a, uh, 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 this is just notation that we use uh, to indicate the idea that this set extends all the way indefinitely uh, to the right. So we cannot possibly include uh, 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 this number in the set because, uh, or this boundary value in the set because this boundary value is not even a real number. So I need to put a parenthesis here beside uh, our symbol for uh, positive infinity. So here's how we would write in interval notation the set of numbers, uh, set of real numbers beginning at minus 4 and extending all the way out to positive infinity. In other words, 
uh, not, uh, real numbers that are greater than um, negative 4. Uh, so remember, in interval notation, whenever you're going to use uh, 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 the infinity symbol or the negative infinity symbol, um, uh, which you get just by putting a minus sign in front of this uh, sideways 8, um, you can never include that uh, in a set because uh, those are not actually uh, real numbers. So you must use a, a parenthesis beside uh, w either of the two symbols that we use for um, infinity.